You're watching Neo Cash Radio, where we discuss the future of money today. In the studio with you, it's JJ, Darren, and Pedro. Here on episode 244 on Thursday, March 1st, 2018. If you haven't watched our crypto warning label video, please check it out because as if we didn't warn you enough already, ICOs and token sales are inherently risky investments. This story from Bitcoin.com ought to provide ample proof. 46% of last year's ICOs have already failed. Token data has been tracking more than 900 ICOs and the numbers should not be that surprising. 142 failed at the funding stage. 276 have failed since then. Furthermore, 113 are at the are on the fence now with either no communication from the team or no community using the coins. Polyniex has been sold to Circle and backed by Goldman Sachs, Chinese internet, internet company Baidu, and more. Circle is looking to change the global economy. And owning a cryptocurrency exchange is going to give that effort a boost. The news is rife with, you know, financial companies now looking to get into the blockchain space. Some of them that were very much, you know, critical of of Bitcoin last year. Right. Uh, JP Morgan sees disruption threat from cryptocurrencies. And in related news, on February 22nd, Bank of America filed its own 10K with the SEC, where that document also raised potential cryptocurrency challenges. Bank Frick, based in Liechtenstein, will um, offer customers the ability to buy, sell, and hold Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ripple. Germany won't tax Bitcoin users for using cryptocurrencies as a means of payment. Segwit use is steadily increasing after Bitcoin version 16 was released with native uh, Segwit support. For Neo Cash Radio, this is JJ. This is Darren. This is Pedro. Neo Cash Radio, where we discuss the future of money today. NeoCashRadio.com. Keep your keys safe. <laughs>